What is up watch fam? I am Anna from Theo and Harris. Today I am wearing my Seiko Quartz tank because my Universal Genève pull router is actually in service, which is the first time in like five years and who knows how long before, but unfortunately I don't have my pull router with me in quarantine. As you can see, I'm not in the studio or Christian's kitchen. I'm actually in my apartment, which I'll probably be hosting a few episodes from over the course of the next couple weeks as we are working from home. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Rolex closing its doors, what that means for the industry. And then I have a little surprise to hopefully cheer a bunch of people up. Let's get into it. Boom, watch fan. So before we start talking about Rolex, I just wanna say that the most important thing to us is that you guys are keeping yourselves safe and that you're washing your hands and staying away from others. Just please be following whatever guidelines are being imposed in your country. The second thing I wanna say is that this channel is not primarily about news. We're a watch channel and sometimes, like in this case, there are things that are news related that are affecting the watch industry and our hobby. This virus is not something we're gonna dwell on at all, but it's also not something that we can completely avoid. What we hope to do is provide you a little entertainment and distraction uh, in this time where a lot of you are home. So what we've done is put together a list of 25-ish videos that we love and that we're super proud of and that we think you'll really enjoy. And we've put them all in a playlist called Quarantine H. Uh, so join us in quarantine and watch a couple hours of Theo and Harris watch content. The link is in the description. It's also on the channel and it's also gonna be linked above there. And third, please comment down below with subjects you would like us to cover uh, in the next couple weeks. Okay, let's get into it. Rolex was the first major brand to officially close its doors and they did so on March 17th with the plans that they would reopen March 27th. After they announced that many other brands followed suit, first was Hublot and then Paddock, AP, and Swatch reduced its workforce by about 70%. All these brands have a tentative date when that will end, but obviously this could be pushed back because the virus is only growing and we really have no indication as to its trajectory. To put this into context, Rolex produces around 1 to 1.2 million watches a year, meaning that Rolex being closed for 10 to 15 days is not producing somewhere in the range of 35 to 50,000 watches. And don't forget, it's likely that this will be extended longer. So what could this actually mean for the market? Well, for those of you on the waiting lists for Daytonas, Submariners, Sea Dwellers, will this mean you're getting a call from your AD? Probably not. Yes, there are fewer buyers right now, and yes, there are also fewer watches being made. So our inclination is potentially to say that this will just even out and the high market that Rolex is seeing will stay high. On the other hand, you have companies like Richemont who are offering massive sales for specific pieces. It's also expected that the luxury goods industry as a whole will see a first quarter revenue slump in the range of like 30%. However, some brands are looking forward. They're seeing how they can use this opportunity to their advantage. For example, Swatch. Swatch actually announced that they're planning on investing 500 over $500 million to R&D, to new products, to developing digital. So this is a really good opportunity for brands to do exactly that, which is something that we've said continuously. So now what should you do? What do you do with all of this information that is changing minute by minute and that's really unpredictable? Odds are this is definitely not peak watch buying season for most of you, but you can absolutely still breathe new life into your collection. You can clean up a watch that needs a service. Theo and Harris has a great service center and you can send in your watch with a request form at any point. We're happy to service it. So if you have a watch that needs a little tune up, send it in, the link is in the description. Another great and really fun way to change up your watch game is by investing in one or multiple straps. In an effort to help you guys out and to encourage people to keep building your collection even when times are uncertain, we wanna offer everyone who buys a new strap from the Theo and Harris Watch Shop a $19 discount. All you have to do is enter the discount code WASHJOHANDS at checkout and your discount will be automatically applied. And now we're gonna show off some of my favorite straps from the Theo and Harris Watch Shop. They're all amazing, made with the highest quality materials from France. We're super proud of our collaboration with Jean Rousseau and there are so many straps that we've put so many hours into building these color schemes. Pairing these textures and linings and stitching is really fun for us and we're really proud of our collection. So take a look at some of our favorite items.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for watching every video. We're just so grateful for you guys and to have a following that um, we really feel like it's a community. We promise that we will deliver you guys content you wanna see and make it as easy as possible to be entertained in this time of uncertainty. Head on over to the Theo and Harris watch shop for new listings every week and the leather shop. If you want a new strap, don't forget to punch in wash your hands discount code at checkout to get your $19 off. We'd throw in hand sanitizer too, but it looks like this guy took all of it. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We love you all and see you soon. Rolex was, no. Blah, 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 blah. Rolex was the first major blend, wow. A brands, oh my God, these trucks. People are supposed to be in their houses, but everyone's on that road, right there. Hello, it is very loud. That because, uh, bleh. so we're inclined, uh, okay, wow. Odds are these cars are in my way. La, 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 la.